This is the drama of the monkey astronauts, Abel and Baker. The smaller girl, they're both females, is Baker. She's a one-pound squirrel monkey and is now atop the space capsule in which she rode to historic heights. Baker's companion, Abel, a seven-pound rhesus monkey, is astride her chamber. Suitably dressed for space and fired for research, both were placed in the nose cone of a Jupiter missile at Cape Canaveral. Blast-off came at 3.35 a.m. 10,000 miles per hour, altitude 300 miles. Then, after 15 minutes of flight, the nose cone has parachuted into the Caribbean near the island of Antigua. Radio signals from the nose cone indicate the monkeys are alive and well one minute before their landing in the water. But the suspense is there at the crucial moment of recovery from the sea, for Abel and Baker are the first living creatures to have ridden into space and come back alive. For sure enough, the monkeys are alive, alive and perfect with no injuries, the rescuers now happily announce to the waiting world. Vivacious Baker registers coy nonchalance as though daring the mere humans to give it a whirl. Abel has her own ideas about it all. But later at the first news conference ever held for two monkeys, even they must be awed by the scientific progress announced for the space age toward eventual safe venture by human beings into space. Initial findings reveal that the monkeys showed but slight variation from normal in heartbeat and respiration. And so the Army, the Navy, and the sponsoring National Aeronautics and Space Administration say to you, Abel and Baker, well done, girls.